Welcome back to another video. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be uploading very frequently since I'm back on YouTube. So in this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys along to go help me pick out my costume for Halloween. You know, I'm not really doing much this year for Halloween. It's COVID. I did buy a costume already, like a week ago. It's a Reaper costume from Overwatch. If you play Overwatch or you played Overwatch, I used to play Overwatch a lot, but I don't anymore. But I have that costume, but I also want to get like a really cute one. So today I'm gonna either go to like Party City or that Halloween store, that huge Halloween store, and try to go find something there. And yeah, hopefully I can go find a really cute costume. Um, I really want to be like a cop, like a really cute cop or something. But yeah, I also wanted to go to the dispensary today. I'm all out of my dab pen, my dabs, and I have some weed at home, but it's just like, it dried up. So yeah, that's what we have going on today. I kind of want to go to Starbucks, so we'll see what I end up doing. I also just want to really quickly say thank you to everyone who commented on my last video. Like I was reading the comments and I'm like, oh my god. I never realized how many people actually like my videos and like fuck with me like that, but I appreciate all of you who actually do. And to the people who dislike that video, fuck you. Okay, so I've decided I'm not getting Starbucks. I'm gonna do like a little mukbang, mukbang, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna get some Olive Garden because I've been craving some Olive Garden and I actually have a little funny story time to tell you guys. I got food poisoning. This was like three weeks ago. It was from Olive Garden, but does that mean I'm gonna stop eating there? No. I don't know what I want to get. I'm probably gonna get this Alfredo. I've been cutting back a lot on meat, and if you know, then you would know I only really eat chicken. Um, I'm not vegan or anything, but I'm probably gonna get this. Or oh, actually, I'm gonna get the lunch one. Plus it's a lot cheaper and I also wanted to get something else. There we go. Should I add broccoli? I'm gonna add broccoli. Add to cart. Let me see what they have on the appetizers. Oh, <gasps> no way. So they took this off the menu, the spinach artichoke dip. This is so fire, like, should I get it? Oh my gosh, guys. So I'm just gonna get it. There we go. And I think that is it. Okay, I got my food. This lighting is really like messing with me. I wanted to put my camera on this side in the middle, but the sun is just too bright these days. So I got my Alfredo and I added broccoli to it. If there's one thing you should know about me is I will spend my money on some good food and then we have the spinach artichoke dip and it also came with some chips so i'm gonna try to eat that first this is too good too good can you see this I didn't get a drink at Olive Garden, so I got a sweet tea from Jack in the Box. It's really bugging me how the steering wheel is in this shot, but it'll be fine. But yeah, I wanted to tell you guys the story time of what happened to me when I got food poisoning. So someone had recommended me to try the, um, I, think it, I think it's pronounced like carbonara or something from Olive Garden. Basically, you know, the pasta and it has like peppers in it and it also has chicken and shrimp. So I got that on like a Thursday, so I like I, I ordered it out, or I ordered it to go. Um, I ate it on the Thursday, whatever, for dinner, whatever, and I had a lot left over, so I put it in the fridge uh, to save it for tomorrow so I can eat it. Or not tomorrow, but the next day. And the next day I didn't have work and, and one of my sisters didn't have to go to school, whatever. So the next day me and her, we split it. And we split the rest of the pasta. I ate half, she ate the other half, we warmed it up. It was good, right? The next day was Saturday, right? That day I was not really doing anything, but uh, one of my friends, my friend Christina hit me up and she was like, hey, do you wanna come help me move? So she was moving to a new house, whatever, and I was gonna go help her like pack up stuff and then move it to the new house. Guys, look at this. Yum. Wait, let me take a few bites of this before I finish.
too good and so i got ready i drove up um when i got there i started feeling kind of weird so my stomach started hurting and i felt really dizzy so i went to go with her to get one of those like u-haul trucks we came in my car and we drove to the place she got out to fill out paperwork for the um the u-haul thing and when i was sitting in my car i was just on my phone and out of nowhere i just needed to throw up thankfully i had like a bag in my car i know this is a little bit tmi and i'm also eating but it's life so i threw up and i was throwing up a lot like if i didn't have that bag in my car i would have thrown up outside like i couldn't like hold it in so i'm just like what the fuck like why am i throwing up like this much so after that was done i felt a little bit better we drove back to her place and we went inside and that's when i started feeling like really sick so I had to throw up even more, went to the bathroom, I threw up even more, my stomach was hurting, I felt super dizzy and I didn't, well I ate in the morning but I really didn't eat all day. Like that same day I ate in the morning but it was just very little and I didn't eat anything else. So I was feeling very dizzy, very faint and you're not even gonna believe what happened to me. I wanna say like 15 minutes after we got back, um, she was start, kind of starting to pack up some stuff and I was like, girl, I need to sit down because I feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> so I sat down in the chair and I was just kind of like laying there like with my head like resting on something. Her boyfriend and you know, this other guy that was helping them move came in, started like moving some stuff. And I'm like, girl, I feel like I'm about to pass out. And the next thing I knew, I passed out. Like I was knocked out, I was on the floor. I had woke back up and I was like, whoa, what just happened? And you know, one of the guys that was helping her move was like, there's like, hey, you just passed out, like, are you okay? Her boyfriend was on the phone with like, do you need me to call an ambulance? I'm like, no, I'm good, this has happened to me before. And what I mean by like, it's happened to me before, is that I've fainted before. Like, I fainted three times in my life, once in seventh grade, once in high school, and then once, I think when I was in college, but like I was at a hospital or something visiting my older sister, didn't get enough to eat that morning. I was overheated and then I passed out. So I was like, no, I'm good. But yeah, I passed out. And then after that, I laid down for probably like a few hours, like three to four hours. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I couldn't help you move. I feel so useless. And yeah, that was the story time. Oh, and, and the reason why I knew it was food poisoning. Sorry, my camera died. But yeah, the reason why I knew it was food poisoning was because my sister, or I texted my sister earlier, like when I was, after I passed out, I'm like, I think I might need you to pick me up. I literally just fainted and I think I have food poisoning because I kept throwing up. And she was like, Heather just got food poisoning. That's my youngest sister. The one that um, shared my leftovers with me. She was like, Heather just got food poisoning too. She's been throwing up. She's just laying down right now. And I'm like, oh my God, it has to be the Olive Garden. Like maybe the shrimp or the chicken like wasn't fully cooked or maybe I shouldn't have like, I don't know. I kept it in the fridge. So I thought it was fine. I'm gonna eat the salad now. They come with a salad. I really like their salads. Or maybe it's like the dressing that comes with it, but I love salad. But yeah, to say the least, I will not be ordering the carbonara, carbonara, whatever, from Olive Garden anymore. Just because I just can't see past that. Like, I'll get the Alfredo, I'll get anything else. But I don't think I'll be ordering like any shrimp dishes for a while. Do you guys like these little peppers? They're not that bad, but... So I just got to Spirit Halloween. Gonna go inside and see if I can find a costume. Well, I'm pretty sure I can. I don't really wanna go to Party City because the last time I went there, they didn't really have much. So hopefully I can find something in here. And I'm vlogging on my phone right now, so I'm gonna bring my phone inside. Cause... You guys know I don't like bringing my huge ass camera in the store. They have like so much here. Maybe I can do like an 80s type theme. Peace, love, and hippie. That's kind of cute. This is like a cop costume that I wanted. Oh, that's like double fisted. Where are the costumes at? This is cute. Guys, this one, ooh, I would look so fire in this. It comes with a jumpsuit, armband, knife, 
arm and leg ties and the handcuffs Ooh, i actually think i'm gonna get this one that costume down there and it fits me kind of big so i have to like fix it a little bit but yeah guys i already got my costume this is gonna be so fire yeah they have so much stuff in here next year if i get a man we can dress up as like peanut butter and jelly or something This one's cute. Okay, so I got my costume. I'm super excited. My pictures are gonna be so fire. And I'm probably like, oh my god, you only care about the pictures. What else do I have to live for? I kind of like filming on my phone. It's really convenient. Okay, and now I'm about to go to the dispensary to pick up some... Hmm. Okay, so I just got back from the dispensary and the smoke shop. I just wanted to give you guys like a real quick dispensary haul. I'm going to be doing a smoke sesh on everything that I got in the next video or maybe the video after that. I had to get a new lighter, so I got that. I got these um, King Palm banana cream flavored kind of ones. But yeah, a lot of you guys were telling me to try the flavored King Palms. I know they have a lot more flavors online. I should order some online, but I only found two at the smoke shop that I was at. So this one's the banana cream one. You just like pop it, I guess. You pop something inside like the little, a little flavored bubble and it releases the flavor. So I'm excited to try that. And I also got these pina colada hemp wraps. Oh no, tobacco. I take that back. I think I did a video a long time ago with either pina colada or like some type of like cool flavor so let me know which one you guys want me to try in my next video it's already like 5 p.m out so the sun is going down okay so from the dispensary i got all this stuff at happy time you can find it in yakima washington um i go there a lot and i went during like happy hour so i think it's like 10 to 15 percent off when you go during happy hour i forget the hours but it's after like two or three so the first thing i got i got two pre-rolls these are just like joints what are these i can't even pronounce these but these are both sativa so yeah i got those two joints i also got these two edibles they were only like three dollars each i got this strawberry fruit chew these are at 10 milligrams of thc and i also got this mango one these are my favorite kind of edibles and i like keeping these ones in my bag just in case i don't know and lastly i copped an eighth and I got some Tropicana cookies. This is 70% sativa and 30% indica. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wait, let me zoom in. I'm so excited to try this out. This is from the company Blue Roots. I never tried their weed before, but we're gonna smoke it, see how it is. I also love when they give you like a bunch of info on the side, just like random info. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video right here. Make sure you guys stay tuned. For my upcoming videos, gonna be smoking this, probably try some edibles. I gotta make a mix of videos that like, you know, I'm smoking in and then some that I'm not smoking in and kind of like this one so I don't get flagged on my channel because I don't want that happening again. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give me a like and leave a comment down below. Um, click the link in my bio if you wanna follow me on any other social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.